completing an Ironman to me is a commitment to the process of becoming the best version of yourself day in and day out, mentally, spiritually, and physically. Throughout the course of the summer, we've spent uh, quite a bit of time teaching our players reads, reactions to all types of defenses, and ultimately being the best, giving them the chance to be the best versions of themselves individually. And then, at, you know, hopefully when November comes around, we start this process of being the best version of ourselves collectively. And uh, we're really excited about the direction we've, we're heading, and uh, we're really happy with the progress we've made this summer. Right, Muscle yeah. bleed! You serve from the back line. So figure everyone's gonna serve, so you're gonna have a ro clockwise rotation just like in volleyball. Come on, come on, go, 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 throw it, finish it. Good job, Pip, nice job, good. Go, turn around, chain link. Chain link, chain link, chain link. So we're stopping the ball first, so everything's chain link. Chain link fences are connected, so I turn and I'm hand out, hand out. The guy next to me is like, there's the ball. Hand out, hand out, and there's no space there's no driving lane. Hand out, hand out, cool. Got that stopped, now we get to our spot. So he just took advantage of your inexperience. With the knowledge of knowing, when you read, if you don't connect, there will be space. So that's just experience versus inexperience. So go again, let's see if we can do it again, come on. I'm certainly challenging Elvin to be our leader and to be an aggressive, scoring, combo, point guard, playmaker, all together. Uh, and with that will come some learning curves. Uh, he's definitely going to have to overcome a little bit of his shyness. And as the leader, as the, as the player with the ball, we hope that, and it's my hope and our staff's job to really empower him to run our show. To myself, just me lately. I don't need a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh? I've been to myself, just me lately. I don't need. Yeah, camp's been really good. Um, the guys, we all have been working really hard. Um, it's been really fun, just been working hard. And the intensity's been, um, keeps going up and up. And we're all just taking in all the information and um, applying it to what we know best and what we do best. So it's been really fun. I come from a whole basketball family, so we've all been playing. My parents play, all my sisters play, all my cousins play. Um, so just seeing my growth and everything that I've been working on come to, um, come to life and just to play with these guys has been so it's been fun so far i know we're going to do big things this year i'm excited i must have missed the memo dude seriously dude orange out we're locked in orange out delaware 11 6. let's go baby orange out, hey baby. great day great day to be a bison no he's by himself good here we go play This way, wrong way! Mistake, transition.
transition back. Pop it to rebound, transition back. Let's move with a little bit more urgency right now in terms of the Iron Man mentality. Here we go. Going through the Ironman process, looking back on it, was something that I'll always remember. The reason I did it was to challenge myself. It's about personal growth. How can I become the best version of myself? And I wanted to think about it through the, the lens of a coach. How can I be the best coach I could be for our players? Because we ask our players every day to be comfortable in the uncomfortable, to work out when they're tired, to learn new things about themselves and to push themselves to limits they don't think they have. That was what the Ironman training is all about. It's about not making, allowing yourself to make excuses. It's about pushing through fatigue when you're tired. And at the end, doing things when no one's watching that ultimately will show up in the end. The same thing applies to our players. Right, All the work that they put in in the summer when no one's watching, the decisions that they make when they're off the court, all plays a part that when we get a chance to perform on game night, all make the difference. Because it's about committing to that day in and day out that allow us to be who we are. I saw in day, in day. We the top 10, UGK the major, way not play it, it don't stop here. Traffic lights, we going nowhere. Rue is one of the most talented players that I've seen in the Patriot League in some time. He's got this combination of height and shooting ability that's just very unique in the Patriot League. Uh, part of our summer with him, in terms of development, has been centered around making him a more assertive offensive player. My name's Rue Bijik, also go by Rue. I'm a sophomore here, and I'm from Des Moines, Iowa, Ames, Iowa. I would come from a family. I have six brothers, and then I got two sisters, so I come from a really big family. Uh, my older brothers played basketball, so like that's what kind of got me into the game, and I've just been playing ever since I was a little kid. I've never been to Italy, and what I'm looking forward to seeing is just like the sights, like the cities there and everything. I feel like it's just gonna be like a different world out there, and like. I'm about to be with all the guys and everything, so I just can't wait. The number one reason you're here is to what? Succeed. Succeed. And to learn and to grow. And to, because as you're doing those things, you're still succeeding. You see, the coach doesn't just want you to win a game. He, no coach does. But this particular coach, for sure, does, does not just want you to win a game. He wants you, his goal when he sleeps at night, if every one of you walk out at the best of your abilities, he succeeded. At the absolute best of your abilities, he has done his job. Of course he has to win, but he's going to win as a result of the best of your abilities. When you're not at your best, that's a tough winning mentality. That's a tough way to win when you're just not at your best. Seek that and it'll come, and the team, the team that you guys are forming will be unstoppable. If you could do that, if you could seek to be better every single day, no one can stop you. Will you lose? Maybe. Will you fail? No. There's no phase when you do that. When you're trying to become the best, you can only fall. You can only fall because you're going to get up. Pip has been a great addition to our program. He comes to us from a high-level Division II program with a wealth of knowledge that we're relying on internally. Peer-to-peer, uh, -peer, he's really taken on this mentorship role that we had hoped when we recruited him. 
but then as it relates to production, he's an unbelievable offensive rebounder, and he impacts the game in so many ways with his athleticism and with his motor. Well, my name is Pepe Lua Jai. Um, everyone calls me Pip. The nickname Pip comes from an uh, old high school coach I had, and he kind of didn't want to say the long words, so he just decided to go with Pip, and it stuck. So that's what people call me here and there. I have never been to Italy, and I think being in this position that I'm in right now, I'm thankful to God for that. And being able to travel the world to different places, like Italy, for example, is just brings a whole different experience to the game. Um, playing teams over there, being with the group of guys that I'm with right now, just having that experience of, you know, teamwork and um, the energy the coaching staff brings every day, um, it's just gonna be great. We're really excited that we have an Ironman as an assistant coach, and I know his attitude will flow right into the locker room and be a part of who we are when we compete.